Hi everyone, it's Tammy. I am going to do another recipe for you. Today I'm making some roasted asparagus and I'm also going to make a chicken quesadilla. So I thought I would show you how I do that. Once you've done that, you can just throw away all of the end pieces. I'm just going to put them here on my cutting board with my tomatoes. The tomatoes are going to go in my quesadilla. I just went ahead and cut up some tomatoes, cilantro, and onion. And then, so my asparagus, I'm just going to lie flat on this uh, stoneware thing that I have. And I have the oven preheating to 350 degrees. And I'm going to just drizzle some olive oil over the top of this. Make it nice and yummy. And if I want to add some garlic at this point, I can. I will add some salt and pepper. And then I just kind of swirl it around a little bit. And then I add salt and pepper to it. And then it is good to go in the oven. And I put it in for about 350 degrees for about 20 minutes. And then it is tasty, tasty. So I will show you when it's done. Okay, for the chicken quesadilla, I just go ahead and butter a quesadilla and I put butter on one side and then I like to just cut it in half. And I am using leftover chicken, um, so it's just chicken that is, has already been cooked, so I'm not even going to worry about cooking that again. But I'm going to take one of the halves of quesadilla and put it in a warm skillet, butter side down, and just let that heat up and get brown. And once that's brown and all nice and toasty, I will add my cheese and my tomatoes and my chicken. And the tomatoes have onions and cilantro in them. You can add whatever you want. You can make it a beef quesadilla, a chicken quesadilla, a cheese quesadilla, just whatever you want. Um, turkey, anything. And um, I also, on my asparagus, I forgot to show you that I used this garlic and wine seasoning that we purchased from the melting pot. It is really good, guys. I don't know if you have a melting pot in your town, but the melting pot is one of my favorite restaurants. It might even be my favorite. It's a fondue place, and it is just wonderful. And this garlic and wine seasoning, they leave on the table, and then you can also purchase some of their things. And this is one of the things, I think it's like $5.95 for this jar. But it is really, really good, and I really enjoy it. So um, I would suggest if you have that opportunity to grab some. I decided to heat up some of the chicken alongside the quesadilla so that it won't be cold when it's going on my sandwich because it did come out of the fridge. As I said, it was leftovers. And then I'm going to use this Chihuahua cheese that I got at Walmart. I love it for quesadillas and for queso. It's just like the Mexican white cheese, only this is shredded and it's just yummo. You can use any kind of cheese you want. Monterey Jack would be fabulous or just whatever you like because this is yours. It's kind of like a grilled cheese sandwich only you're using a tortilla and you're adding some meat. You could even make it an Italian one, I suppose, and put some pepperoni in it. And I mean, just make it your own. These are very versatile. Okay, once it gets toasty on one side, I just take that off and I put the other one down and I put that, again, butter side down. And this time I'm going to go ahead and add my cheese. And be pretty generous with your cheese because after all it is a quesadilla that looks good and then I will add my chicken which is getting nice and brown too oh it's going to be so good so good so good and this won't take long guys I mean my asparagus is just about finished cooking in the oven and I'm just going to let that cook for a little minute and I'm going to put on my vegetables oh doesn't that look dreamy losing my vegetables get on there get back on there Okay, and then I'm going to top it off with the other half of that and just kind of push it down and let it 
get all nice. You can hear it. Oh, it's going to be so good. So I'm just going to let that cook for probably two minutes or less. Here is the asparagus fresh out of the oven. That looks so good. I'm going to make two lunches out of this, or at least I could eat a bunch of asparagus. So I'm going to make at least two of my lunches, maybe three out of this. My husband doesn't like asparagus. It's like one of the only vegetables he doesn't like. So this is just for me. <laughs> Lucky me. I'll put the leftovers in the fridge and then I will reheat them probably in the oven again tomorrow for my lunch. So here is the quesadilla, all nice and crispy and cheesy and just wonderful. Um, I'm going to serve it with a little bit of sour cream on top and I'm just using my fork to put a little bit on each one. And this will be just the fork that I use to eat it. And then I will add some asparagus. And lunch, my friends, is served. There we go. That looks delicious. And I hope that you guys try it. I hope you like it. And I would love for you to comment below. If you do, let me know how you liked it. Thanks. Bye-bye.